and welcome to this tutorial. This one will explain the use of variables within report names. Okay, so I have a simple inspection. I go to run reports. I will sort out my headers. So I've got a customer called Airtrain, titles, location spigot, and I've got a drawing number. Now the inspector, that could be a variable. It could change depending on who's running the program. So if I do an open curly bracket, then a hash key, type an in inspector and close brackets, the program will prompt for an inspector's name before it runs. Now the material, now that's part of the program. So if I click on here, I can copy this line for control C and control V to paste, and it will call it the material with the program. The date is also a variable, and that can be copied from here. Control C again, control V. Temperature, again, that's recorded with the program. program. So down here we have the material and the temperature. We have an option here to copy this. Control C, Control V, and that will bring in the temperature from the program. Okay, serial number, that's gonna change with the component. So I'm gonna copy this line, which is asking for a serial number, and you notice it has a hash at the start. So that's what will prompt the software to stop and ask you to type in a number. So control V. Okay, I want on a graphics report, just the XY view. Apply those changes. Now when the program runs, I have to decide what I want to do. Do I want to view the file, do I want to save the file, print the file, or none of these. So clicking on these, I can turn them on and off. In this case, I want to view and save. Now because I'm saving the file, the software needs to know where to save this to. So on the right hand side here, we have the option to use the inspection path. Or we can go to advanced and actually use the a destination where the file was called from. So I'm come down to here to find inspector, inspection directory, there it is. Control C, Control V. Okay, so it's actually asking me now for the inspector's name and their serial number. So I'm gonna type this in. Type in the serial number. Okay. I'm going to do a backslash here. Okay, I want to create a folder related to the program. So I'm going to use H2. So I'm going to use open curly bracket, H2, close curly bracket, which will use location spigot as a folder name. You can see it down here. That's a folder it will create. Okay, so I also need a report name. So again, I'm going to use advanced. I'm going to pull the information from the inspection file. So I want the file name to include the customer. So I'll put H1. I want the file name to also include the part or the title, in this case, location spigot. So that's H2. And finally, I want the serial number as part of this file name. So that's going to be H8. Okay, apply the changes. Okay, now I'm gonna run this file. Okay, so the inspector in this case is me, so I type my name. And the serial number of this particular component is 34. We're gonna run the file. And when it finishes, it should pop up with the report because we asked to view it when it finished. And it will also save it. Okay, so here's a report. So you notice we got the headings, ones we typed in, and also the ones we use for variables, the temperature, material, serial number, date, and the specter name. Now we'll just check it's saved in the right place. So go to File Explorer. So this is where the program ran from. So it created this folder, and here's the, the name it created for the inspection file. So we go to Report Viewer. Just gonna clear this one. I'm just gonna open the file we just created. So I'll go to navigate to the right folder. And there's one we just done, open. So we can view the file at any time. 